Hi guys, it's Aaliyah. Welcome back to my channel. So I am going to attempt today to do some altered library card or these library card catalog cards. I don't know. For me, I always think that they're library cards, but then I also then think of the ones that go in the front of the book as a library card. So I don't know, but technically these are cards from a library, so they are library cards. And um, there's grass getting mowed outside, so I hope it's not too loud. Um, I'll try to talk a little louder than normal, maybe. I don't know. <laughs> but hopefully it won't get into too much in the way of doing this. So um, as you can see, I have a bunch, a bunch, a bunch, a bunch of cards. And um, I just want to not, I'm not going to, well, this is my thought. Um, I didn't want to highly embellish them. I'm not collaging or anything. I just want to give like a little extra um, something or other to it. Like I've already picked this one out because I wanted to do something like this and then possibly like do like, like a sticker or something right here just to, you know, because if I'm putting this in a pocket, yes, it's nice. Yes, it's, you know, I think it's actually vintage, um, but I just want to give it like a little bit of extra something or maybe I have actually, hold on, sorry for the reach. I have some fabric scraps here, even like um, doing like a little tab or something like that, just to make it a little bit above just a plain card. So I don't know if that makes sense, but I decided just to, you know, turn on the camera while I'm doing this. And it's not really a tutorial. It's just more of a craft along like, oh, you know, this is what I'm doing. If you want to join me and just take a little look. So I'm just going to ink around the edges. Um, I don't know why I just, I don't know. I think I like inking around a lot of my edges now. I used to never like doing it, but now I don't really mind and um, I do it a lot. So I knew the first one that I wanted to do was this one. And I always can never see which is the front and the back, but I think this is. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna put just a tiny bit of glue there just to hold it in place and then I'm gonna sew it. And I do have my sewing machine here. I don't think you're gonna be able to actually see what I am sewing, but um, I just didn't wanna you know, get up and move and do all that stuff, so. All right, so let me just put a little tiny bit of glue just to hold it down. Is any glue even coming out? Maybe not. Okay, so that's just ever so slight. Okay, and then I'm gonna put this on. Um, hmm. Actually, do I want it to, boy, no, I want it like that, okay. I don't think I even put enough glue on to hold it. No. Yeah. Whoops. Maybe a little bit more. Because I don't want to wait for it to dry. I just kind of want to just a little bit on just to uh, keep it in place, like I said. All right. So... Yeah, I think that looks good. And now, I mean, it's really not sticking, just a little bit. Oh, let me sew it first, actually, before I start cutting. All right, so I'm just gonna bring this over here. And I'm just using a straight stitch to um, sew it on. washi tape stuck on my scissors all right so let's just see how this looks so 
So say something just real simple, just to kind of jazz it up a little bit. And you know what I might do? Um, just put a little glue on here, on the three, just a tad, not, not too, too much. I don't want it to bleed through or anything, but just to kind of keep it stuck in place. And I don't even know if glue is coming out. I think it's coming out. I think I need to refill this bottle. Okay. Oh yeah, it did come out. All right, so there is that. And I think, yeah, I do want something right here. Now I do have, should I, I should see if I have a little tiny picture to go in there. Hmm. You know what I do, but where? Something like that would be kind of neat. Let's do that. All right, first, of course, well, let me ink the edges. And then, all right, what I'll do, I think, first is sort of just glue around this, just because I don't exactly know where it lies but we'll do something like that and then I want to line it up let me see all right I think it's kind of like that is that how I had it whoa oh no <laughs> Hold on. Okay. I fell all the way on the floor. Yeah, that's fine. And I know this is a sticker, so let me just hopefully somehow take off the backing. Mind frame. I hope so. Oh, sounds like they stopped mowing the lawn. Yeah, but watch is going to start right up again. Okay. So it is a sticky back, but I am going to put glue only because, you know, you never know with these stickers and stuff. Oh, yeah, there it goes. <laughs> the lawnmower again. Um, you never know, like, if there's, like, an expiration on the stickiness or but I feel like glue is just a little bit more of a sure thing. All right. So let's do that right there. See? So it's like, you can tell it's a library card, but at the same time, it kind of just jazzes it up just a tad bit. So that one's really cool. So we have that. Let me put this aside. Um, let's see, I'll put it right here to dry. Let's grab another one. Now, um, I said I did want to do a tab, so let's try a tab. And uh, this one was actually pretty neat, because we could do the sunflower. Something like that, maybe. All right. And... Because I'm thinking of sewing it. Um, or do I want to just glue it? No, let's sew it, because I have my sewing machine here, but I'm going to try something and see if this works. Just to hold it in place, I'm going to use the glue stick. So we know this is pretty much where we want it to be. I'm just going to put some glue there, just to hold it in place. Nothing permanent. And some glue on this side. Okay. I'll just fold that back down. Okay, so we have that, and now I wonder if I can find some nice yellow flower sticker to go here. Um, I do have my book. Oops, hold on. My fun sticker book. Um, 
So a yellow flower. Let's see if we have anything close. And in the meantime, the glue from the glue stick can dry. And I know I'm not in frame. Hold on. There we go. Hopefully you can see that. Or something that will, you know what? Let's get this up here. All right, so we wanted to, I'm just gonna put it right here, but I can see it. Something to go with that. So it doesn't necessarily, I guess, have to be a flower. Maybe if I could find something with like yellow or red in it. Yellow, red, or green, but something that will complement that. Um, ooh, look at this. Or that, actually both, let's do both. Let's have two butterflies. Okay, well that was easy. <laughs> so let's glue down the butterflies first. Um, oh no, I just ripped off his antlers. Or, oh no. Oh. Well, you know what? We'll just glue them on after. Whoops. Oh, poor guy. I gotta be a little bit more careful. Huh. <laughs> oh my gosh. Alright, so I'm gonna put this one here. And now let's carefully try to take off his... They're not antlers. What are... Oh, antennas. That's what I... Not antlers. Oh my gosh. Um, put a little glue on this. And now let's see if I can. Ooh. It's not perfect, but that's okay. That's you can see the little white line. I should have probably put the uh, antennas down first, and the other sticker over that. But you know what? That's okay. I'm not gonna fret about it. But what I do want to do is just kind of squish it down just a tad okay now let's carefully get the other one out my gosh okay well at least I know now to be very careful because I've used a bunch of stickers so far and maybe just the ones that I've um, taken out didn't have a very delicate part on them but yeah, I haven't ripped any stickers, but I know that my hand does tend to be a little bit on the heavier side, and so I have to be mindful that I gotta be a little delicate with this. All right, I like that because it has the yellows and kind of oranges and reds. Very nice. So now I still gotta sew this, and I think what I'll do is, you know what? I don't want to sew it, actually. Oh, I wonder if it's too late. Let's just see if I can put some glue down. Um, because do I want to actually have stitches that show through? Because I would probably stitch like that. I don't know. I bet we could pull it up carefully. All right, so let's do that. Let's try it on the back first. And hopefully I'm in frame and I pretty much think I am. Okay. Smooth it out just a tad. And then put it back down. Oop. All right, now the front. And hopefully you can see what I'm doing. I tend to work towards the bottom of the desk just because this is where I am, but I always forget I have to stay kind of up so that way you can also see what I'm doing. All right. Perfect. I really like the way that came out. So we have that one. Those are really neat. So we have two completely different ones, and I love them both. Two different styles, I should say. Um, yeah, I like that. All right, let's do one more together. Let me put these aside so they can dry. And grab another card. Um, and you know what I realized? I didn't ink the edges of the other ones. But you know what? That's okay. I'm alright with that. I can always go back and ink it if I want to, but I don't. 
So I have... Um, hmm. I wonder if something like this and then put something here. Or is that too big? That might be too big. Um, trying to see what I have over in my arm's length reach. I had something like that. All right, hold on. I'm going to cut this out really quick just to see what it would look like. And nothing's written in stone, so we don't really don't have to commit to it, but I just want to see something. So I think this is... So if we did something like this, and then maybe some... I have some of this. Something I want something dangly. Can I cut out one dangle? I bet it could. But I want um huh. This one Okay, let me try. Oh, this has, to, all right. Sorry, I talk to myself when I'm trying to figure something out. Let me try this. I don't know if this is exactly what I'm thinking of, but we will, all right, let me just get the, oh, the majority of it away. Um, and, Huh. I'm not 100% sure this is going to work yet, but this is all trial and error. And we shall see. Oh, it's so hard to tell which is the front and which is the back. Oh, I think this is the front. Okay. I wanted something like dangly. With this, this is definitely dangly, but is it too delicate dangly? I don't know if you can see this at this angle. But I could glue some of the, like the three top ones, just so it's a little bit more stable and then just the bottom ones will swing. So let's glue it down, just bits and pieces of it, because I'm thinking that I'm going to want to sew some of this. But I might have to change my thread. So let's glue it down just for now. And then off camera, once the glue dries, I can always... Um, change my thread and then put a lighter thread like a cream or something because I have the brown in there right now but I don't want brown to um or do a pink and brown goes I think I don't know I don't know which way this wants to go <sighs> all right before I start fussing let's just glue this down first we'll do that one thing at a time and then you don't get overwhelmed okay we'll just start off with just a tad bit of glue in the corner right there and I want to put this like that and then we'll put a little bit more you know what I just got glue on here Okay. I'm 
Okay, so at least that's glued on for now. And hmm. you know, I'm thinking, I'm wondering if I really need to put a stitch in it because this is Fabrifix or Fabri-Tac or I don't know, it's even in this bottle. This is the bottle I use just to refill every time. But um, it is a very strong glue. So I'm thinking that maybe we won't even have to. That's glued down pretty well. Um, okay, now how to glue this on. Kind of, see, that's why I was thinking of sewing it, but I mean, it's a little bit difficult to glue this down because it's like very dainty <laughs> and I want to make sure that stuff has glue on it, but also at the same time, I don't want to over glue either, which is really easy to do because, well, I don't know, but for me it is. All right, let's get this down for now, and then we can glue after. I'm getting sticky everywhere. All right, and something like that. And if I, I actually, if I could have like some pink lace right here, that would be really neat. Um, but I want to get these glued down. Let's see. I have to wash my hands right after this because uh, glue in my hands then it starts getting everywhere. But sometimes I feel like this is the easiest way to get something on a delicate piece. And you're gonna have to get a little dirty. Oh my gosh, I'm not even in a frame, I'm sorry. Ugh. I keep going down and down. All right, let's see. Okay. I don't know how well that shows. In person, I can see it's two different pieces, the cream and the pink. Now, I want to get something pink here. You know what? This is bothering me. I think I'm going to glue this one down. Okay, I'll mess with those later. Um, let me see if I had something small and pink, little like, oh, what is this? Oh, see, I'm gluey. Oh my gosh. Oh, what a mess because it stays just a little bit gluey or not gluey, but sticky. And then I start sticking to everything and I really should have just used my little pink finger because it's right there. All right. Hmm. You know what? I'm wondering. Oh, wait a minute. Wait, wait, wait. I have an idea. I have my. Uh oh, I'm making a mess. I have my vintage little flower appliques. Let's see what this will look like. I like it, but I don't. I want, you know what, maybe I should, oh no, I'm losing stuff over here. Maybe I should go back to originally what I was trying to do, look for a sticker. All right, let me just put this aside for a second. Hopefully I'm in frame, and let's see if we can find, there's something. Okay, let's keep this page, oops. Oh man. Oh, that's too big. 
that's nice but I, uh, the pink is a little too dark but possible um, Oh, yeah, this one. I had to just compare the other two that I had. Um, okay, see if you had something like just like that. Perfect. Oh, I like the way this looks. Okay. All right. So let's get this glued down. right like that perfect I like the way that is all right so let's see what we have so we have that one right there that one right there and if this can fit at the bottom of the screen that one right there so I like the way these came out and I hope you did too so if you have any of these vintage card catalog library cards whatever they are Definitely, you know, take some out and alter them because they make great additions to any tuck spots and little pockets in your journals. And, um, you know, it's a fun way to kind of just get a little creative. So thank you so much for watching and I will catch you in my next video. Bye.